Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna do some at-home science again today. And today is just like a really little thing, but it's really quite impressive to me at least. So uh, we're gonna use forward-looking infrared IR again. So forward-looking infrared. And we're gonna use this, this piece of glass, okay? This piece of glass in the visible, you know, the kind of light our eyes are built to see, is uh, transparent, which means I can see through it, it's clear. This is a piece of silicon being held up by some Legos. This looks opaque, all right? So that is, I can't see through this. If there was a, a, a wall built out of this, I couldn't see through that wall. If there is a wall built out of this, I could see through that wall. So the thing is, we're gonna try and look at something on the other side of both of these using our infrared forward-looking spectrophotometer. Okay, so this is my little uh, FLIR thing, and we're gonna use this to look on the other sides of both of, these, both of these things, we're gonna look at a candle. It should be pretty cool. This is what it looks like when I've got the candle. I'm gonna put this glass over it. We can still see it there in the visible portion. But when I put the IR candle, put this IR on it, we don't get to see it. That is because glass is opaque to IR. So there it is in the visible, and there it is in the IR. That part of it's really hot. So that's the heat that we end up seeing off in there, but we don't actually end up seeing the candle flame itself because this IR camera does not see through glass. So again, there is the candle in the visible. All I'm gonna do is slide this little piece of silicon in front of it. And you can see that the candle's still behind it. You can kind of see a reflection from the back wall, but we can't see through there. So that's what it looks like in the visible. But if I were to take my IR camera, you can see there's a bright spot back there and I am actually able to see through this um, piece of silicon. So in the visible, it's opaque. And in the IR, I can see through it. So it's transparent in the IR and visible in the op and, and uh, opaque in the visible, which is pretty cool. So there you have it guys, something that is transparent in the visible, like glass, is opaque to something like infrared radiation, you know, that's the whole greenhouse effect kind of thing, and something that is opaque in the visible is transparent, at least pretty transparent, in the infrared. So it means we can see through it with infrared radiation. So there you go, a little bit of at-home science for today. Hope you have a good one. May the fourth be with you.